and we have all of the big, you know, we have an accredited museum, we've got a symphony, an opera, uh, we've got um, the children's chorus, we've got ballet, we've got, I mean, just a whole number of, you know, professional and uh, community theater groups. Arts and, com and culture definitely aid in economic development and the tourism. Uh, tourism, I believe, leads to the economic development. People come visit, they see what a great place it is, they could possibly move their businesses here. Uh, but, you know, the issue is, well, we have this beautiful beach, and that's a huge pull for a lot of people, but it rains a lot here, as this past weekend has been indicated. Uh, so what do you do on a rainy day? I love our beach, and I'm not discounting it, but when you sit on the beach, you're just sitting on the beach. You may be reading, you may be listening to music and enjoying your time relaxing, but it's not as much of a thought-provoking uh, exercise. You need these sort of things to retain and attract employees. I mean, the quality employees uh, that you want uh, will be involved and can get involved in, in arts and culture, and uh, that is something that businesses look look for when they're coming to a town. I mean, they're looking for quality health care, they're looking for quality education, and then what else? For, for you know, the quality of life. You know, four or five years that we've had ACE going, um, that, and even prior, uh, you know, dating back to my beginning volunteerism with uh, Arts Council Northwest Florida, one of the problems is trying to educate people on the investment into the arts. Uh, governmental investment into the arts. It's a proactive way uh, of investing in your community to get a real return because there's a, there is an economic impact of the arts and culture on the community. If you support the arts and cultural organizations and their programming and people attend those, they generally go out to eat. People travel to come to if it's a blockbuster exhibit or you know, a really great blockbuster um, symphony or opera performance. Uh, or you know any of these other ballet, etc. People will travel here. That we this community has that works really well is we have a very involved um, volunteer base. I mean the members of this community, citizens in this community, are very involved uh, from all levels of, of involvement. I mean some are, are running nonprofit organizations uh, from you know on the volunteer basis to you know, just come into meetings, but they're engaged, they're coming, and there's, I mean, it's kind of like that, it's almost like if you're not on a board in this community, there's something wrong with you. If I can help influence and, and assist in making this a better place uh, for my kids and my grandkids, you know, or your grandkids, I may move. I may not have this job that I have right now, and that opportunity may go away, but I still want this to be a great place. I, I believe when the tide rises, all boats float. So the more people you can have here, the better the, the environment.